So what I have here is what they call like a Dell laptop. It's actually like a Chromebook, but I'd call it a uh, not so powerful tablet. It's called the Dell P24T, P24T C01. It's supposed to take about 19.5 volts at 2.31 amps. And I've had trouble with this. It only comes with like 30 gigabytes hard drive, built-in memory. But to get the Windows update, so you as soon as you start using this laptop, you have 32 gigabytes. I think it comes about to like 28 gigabytes. And then you got to do a Windows update. But the Windows update is too big takes up more room than is available from the built-in memory. So you can attach an SD card or um, use the USB to add an external hard drive. So we got a the power plug adapter, HDMI, two USB, headphone jack. I don't know what that is. And this, um, it's like a TF, it's like the smallest um, memory card. Mine actually ended up breaking pretty easily, so I can't use that. Uh, so I try to use this. This plays some games. It can play some good games from like the year 2000 or more. <clears throat> Touchpad was too sensitive, so when I was using this, I try to put like tape on there so I could actually put my hands on here, but nothing seemed to work. What we're using it for is just a word processor. Excuse me. <clears throat> you cannot do much on this. You may be able to do one thing at a time. Uh, in a previous video, I talked about uh, a HP ProDesk and how it was just a laptop because you couldn't switch out the CPU, but it was processing at like two gigahertz. I was able to get a video card in that to work a little faster, but before that you could only do one thing at a time for sure. And this one you could only really do one thing at a time. So it, we're just gonna use it as a word processor. And I've had to go in here and look around because people get this confused with a Dell laptop that you can change the memory on or that it comes with four gigabytes. This is a great computer tablet for 1998. It has two gigabytes, which you cannot improve on. You can't expand it. It's got like a two gigahertz processor, so you can't do much. That screw is now stripped. And we're just gonna look at it. Basically, it's got a nice big battery. That's like, it's most redeeming is a nice slim flat battery pack that lasts about four hours. That does a good job. Uh, so since you only have two gigabytes on here and it's supposed to work like a computer, just having Google open or opening up a couple tabs will go past the um, will go past the value it can keep. Let me see what's going on with this one. I might not be able to get that off. Basically, you just remove these screws, and there was supposed to be one here. Um, you do not have to take these little pegs out. And then this should just kind of start popping out. Right? No. Uh, here we go. This part pops out. Right? Am I right? Okay. There we go. Let's 
try and put a little tension on this screw to see if we can. Okay, there we go. So what I want to do is this still connects to Wi-Fi, but there's my that should be my Wi-Fi card here. This is for all the extra stuff on here. Um, audio jack, USB. This looks like it could have, there is a part here for something. Now over on this side, the actual other stuff's built in. The TF card that the slot's missing, the USB, HDMI, and the power cord. Battery pack. So I don't want it to connect to Wi-Fi at all. And I would actually like to disable the USB so you can't add something to it to start. I just want um, to be able to use this as a word processor. So this should be our Wi-Fi card. Now, I don't want to leave these loose like that, so I'll add some tape on them. Kind of like, you don't want them to touch, you don't want them to be cause of fire or a spark or a... And then, so here were two of these mounted, these um, clips here. Let's push those back down. And this is the end of the video. I actually hate this. It, they push it off as something great. It goes for about $300, but it's not worth it at all. Um, you might as well get like an iPad or something because this is just a glorified tablet and a piece of crap. You can get a you can get a computer from 1998 for about 50 bucks and then you can actually uh, Try and turn that into a laptop and you'll have something just as powerful as this, if not more. So right now for 300 bucks, you could get a gaming PC, like, don't want to really like say a gaming PC, but you can get a nice PC that plays some pretty recent games. So the um, video card, just like the other tablets, is built in and has some capabilities. But this will not play CSGO. Uh, don't, it won't play Fortnite. It's just, you can search on a web browser. It's not even good for streaming. Didn't, didn't like watching Hulu or Netflix, it kind of like lag, it frees up. So let's see if we can just turn this back on without exploding. I hate how my videos always end up taking so long. Yeah, so it says it's using Windows 10. So I'm sure that'll make it a lot slower than instead of. It's like, yeah, you use Windows 10 uh, PC from 1998. Oh. Uh. There we go. La 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 la. Peace. So this is excellent if you are just 
going to write. Battery lasts a great time if you just need a word processor, but it does not have the Windows updates on it because I have to add an external hard drive. And I'm like, I don't think so. For 300 bucks, I'll just get a Optiplex 9020. <laughs> Dell Optiplex 9020. Okay, so I'm going around and move some stuff around. So now it should not be able to connect to Wi-Fi. Let's take it out of airplane mode using the function key. Okay, there we go. Then it shouldn't find any connections. I don't want to put any software, any internet blockers or anything. Uh, airplane mode VPN. I don't think it's even giving me. Okay. So there's no Wi-Fi in here now. Thanks for joining me.